Hi everyone, this is Dr. Rukmani Chaudhary and you are watching Dr. Rukmani's Health Update. My today is very basic and it is very common like it is common cold and we call it like symptoms, coryza. So in today's video, I'll be talking everything about common cold, like uh, how common is it and is it contagious and what sign or symptoms you have and do you need any kind of test or how we can prevent this uh, infection and uh, the precautionary measures we'll talk about and the allopathic mode of treatment and best effective homeopathy medicine. So you are requested to watch complete video for complete information. If you're watching first time, please like, share and subscribe my channel, press the bell icon to get notified. Common cold, as its name implies, common cold. So it is pretty common, quite common, and uh, this is like infection, upper respiratory tract infection. Huh? So this is like you have infection in your nostrils, your throat, and even your eyes are affected, and your sinuses and your windpipe that is trachea. Yeah. Running nose, you can have sneezing. Are the causes? Huh? What? causes behind your common cold there are different kind of viruses like more than 200 kind of viruses are there but the commonest one is rhinovirus 50 percent cases are due to rhino it contagious is it's contagious common. yes it is highly contagious you must be knowing that if you are in the close contact with the infected or the sick person and while the sick person the infected person cough or sneezes and uh, you know so the viruses uh, the droplet they contains the viruses and while touching or even breathing or inhaling you can catch the infection so this is how you get the infection and once the viruses they enter in your body like through your nostrils through your mouth throat your eyes and, and while even touching so you just have it and they multiplied in your mucous membrane and mucous membrane are these are and they are for the protection purpose but once they get multiplied you get the infection why colds are seen more during winters huh why is it more frequently seen during winter seasons though you can catch this while you know the change of weather but yes cases are seen more in winter season huh during winter why as the viruses enters through your nostrils so your nasal mucous membranes they you know the, there is a low temperature so if you have low temperature so this is an ideal medium for the viruses to multiply and your immune system get affected gets compromised so that's how uh, you know, it is a challenge to fight back and you have uh, you know the illness Students are more prone to have cold huh, than adults have in, in adult it is like two or three times in a year you have the cold you can have and uh, on the other hand children they have you know the five or six times throughout a year and why it is like that see the kids they don't uh, develop immunity so with the time they develop immunity and their immune system starts recognizing the viruses and starting responding accordingly huh? fighting back with the viruses and by the adulthood obviously the immune system is uh, well uh, you know the recognized and they are used to recognize you know viruses so that's how uh, in adulthood you are less prone to have what what symptom you have huh so th this is very common like you're having sneezing you're having running nose you can have you know stuffy nose and there's a cough sore throat and at times even children they can have fever uh, and uh, you know at times if it is associated with the flu like if it is a flu in case of flu so you can have fever you can have chills the difference that in cold you have cold or cough like running nose sore throat but in flu you can have joint pain malaise weakness fatigue Diagnosis part. So how we diagnose it is fairly diagnosable itself. Huh? So you are having running nose, you are having uh, you know uh, the cold and the stuffy nose is there and your uh, you know the neck, your cervical lymph nodes they are enlarged. So uh, see usually it resolves like uh, 7 or 10 days. Within a week or 10 days it, it, it usually resolves on its own. So there are medication, there are over the counter drugs in allopathy, there are anti allergic medicines. In this tent you are given and there are expectorant and there are cough syrup. If supplementation part, so in supplementation you are asked to have vitamin C rich diet and you are asked to have zinc supplement and plenty of water. You can prevent this condition. This is highly contagious while in the contact of the infected person. So it is advised that if you are having cold cough, just have rest and avoid going outside for one or two days. And if you're going, just maintain precaution. You can use mask, have plenty of water and just uh, have some distance huh, with the other person. And uh, just take precautions while coughing and sneezing. Huh? You can put your uh, handkerchiefs and all. Like uh, 
इन होम्योपैथी सी द होम्योपैथी ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन इंडिविजुअल अप्रोच ऑन अनयूजल सिम्टम कैरेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर्स द की नोट सिम्टम्स देर आर कपल ऑफ मेडिसिन इन होम्योपैथी फॉर कॉमन कॉल कॉफ एंड यू नो कोराइजा एंड इन्फ्लुएंजा बट दीज मेडिसिन वेरीज विद द पेशेंट सिम्टम so and if you watching on youtube all the medicines link are given in the description box below so you can buy medicine from there and you can start your treatment and these are homeopathy medicines so they are only available either online homeopathy pharmacy store or physical on doctor clinic and pharmacy homeopathy pharmacies only homeopathy store euphrasia euphrasia is given when you have you know coryza cold cough and you are having your uh, eyelids they are inflamed so in that case you can take euphrasia one or two one. drop these are oral medication and in cold cases like you are having acute problem so you can even repeat your medicine like five or six times in a day at the gap of 2 hours ha huh? so you can take this way and uh, color can differ the form can differ the size can differ so just buy the authentic medicine the name should be euphrasia officinalis and the lower doses ha huh? 30 or 200 potency and with the help of and if it is in the pills form just take five or six pills arsenic and malvum you must be knowing it's uh, like uh, you know popularity during covid uh, time so arsenic and malvum is given this is you can say this is the first rank medicine in my opinion why this almost this work in all the cases ha huh? so arsenic and malvum is given when you have cold when you have cough even fever there is a restlessness and there is a fear of death so in these cases you can use arsenic and malvum and there is a restlessness ha huh? so one or two drops uh, three or four times in a day before having your meal and just use regularly m c p is given in cold of uh, cold or cough cases when where you have you know allergic uh, Simple like you having hay fever. So in these kind of cases, and Ilium Sipa has you know lacrimation, eye discharge, your nasal discharge, and usually your acrid coryza, your nasal discharge as acrid. Ha, huh? they are burning. Phosphorus is again a very good medicine in cold or cough cases. In phosphorus, you catch cold easily, and the cold uh, items they aggravate the symptom, and you even have you know the cough problem means your chest is also affected, and you are having you aggravated while having cold food, cold meal. Ha, huh? so in that case you can. phosphorus aconite is the like uh, the first remedy that comes in the cold and cough cases there is a, again there is a restlessness and aconite given in the starting stage means you just had the cold and cough you just catch so in that case you can take aconite napoles one it gel simum is a uh, known for its 3d like dullness dizziness and drowsiness so this is given when you have flu like symptom when you are having fluenza so you are having cold and cough with that you are having you know the body pain the joint pain and you are lethargic you are fatigue so just have in that case gel simum one or two drops twice sorry come Phalanx force is given in the secondary stage means aconite is given in the primary like you had the infection but in phalanx force you uh, like you are having it is like three or fourth day of your infection and you are uh, having inflammatory changes ha huh? so in that case you can take phalanx phosphoricum weakness is remarked in phalanx phosphoricum six doctor ekwek german homeopathy medicine this is written that influenza drop so if you are having flu like symptom joint pain fatigue and all these kind of symptoms so you, you can have this medicine just 5 or 10 drops in some water multiple times in a day before having you meet this video can give you some amount of help if you find these video knowledgeable and informative please like share and subscribe my channel press the bell icon to get notified keep watching keep supporting thank you for your time thank you so much thank you